Welcome to the seventh episode of FTO Academy Tutorials. Today we will take a look at the basic building block of CoinDeals Community. We will show you the process of buying and selling cryptocurrencies using FuturoCoin as an example. In order to sell FuturoCoin, we have to go to our Choose Market search engine, as we have to find a proper cross. We simply type in FTO and we can already see two available crosses with FuturoCoin. The first one with Bitcoin, the other one with Euro. Let's check the cross with Bitcoin. On the left, we can see a panel that we will be using for buying and selling Futuro coin. These transactions can be listed as pending. It means that they will be released in the future after some time. Or they can be listed as market transactions that will be released immediately after booking them. Let's say that we want to sell three Futuro coins. So, this cross will exchange FTO for Bitcoin. In the box titled Price, we type in the price that we are interested in. The best way to do that is to copy the current market price and modify it as we see fit. This way, we will make sure that our price is correct because entering those numbers manually could easily cause an error. Let's type 97 here. In the box called Amount, we choose the size of the transaction. In this case, we want to sell three FTO units. The system should automatically recalculate these values and express them in Bitcoins. In the Feed tab, we can see the statement about the size of commissions that the exchange market charges during transactions. They are calculated for both buyers and sellers. Because of the excitement, we forgot to turn the panel to sell, so we automatically want to sell three FTO units. Let's quickly change that and copy those values and data once again. Now we can make the transaction happen by clicking the Sell button. Our transaction will appear in the order book in the Sell Orders table. In this case, it's a pending transaction, which means that we are waiting for some interested buyers that will accept our price and the amount of FTO units we want to sell. Ah, and there we have a pop-up that informs us that our transaction was released. In this moment, we already know that our transaction has ended. Beneath the order book, we have an additional evidence in the form of tab with history of transactions. Here we can see the precise date of transaction, the amount of sold FTO units and their selling price. If we would like to sell Futuro coin on some different cross, we have to go back to the search engine. We type in FTO, we choose the FTO slash Euro cross. We want to sell FTO once again, that's why we choose the sell panel. We can see that the best market price in the order book is 7.97 euros. We can make that price even a bit better by turning it to 7.96. We would like to sell one FTO for that price. We click Sell. That star means that our transaction has appeared in the order book. It's at the top. So it's an offer with the best price on the market. This offer here is also a pending transaction, so we simply wait for interested buyers. We can see another pop-up. It's the same kind of announcement as it had been before. We can also check our history of transactions made on this cross. It's located beneath the order book. Date, amount of sold units, selling price, it's all there. Now, let's assume that we want to buy some FTO. We pick the cross. Let's go back to that FTO slash Bitcoin combination. We keep our focus on that panel on the left. However, right now we're interested in that buy section. For example, we want to buy one FTO for a price that's the best price in the selling table. We can do that in the market mode. It means that our transaction will be released immediately after ordering it. To do that, we click on one of the available offers in the seller's table of the order book. All parameters of the transaction will be swiftly copied to the corresponding boxes. Price, amount of available units. In this case, it's 23.46 FTO. We actually want to buy only a single FTO unit, so we change that value. 
The system will automatically recalculate everything. If we can confirm that everything is correct, we click Buy. We can already see that the transaction has been accepted and released. Beneath the order book, we can once again check the history of transactions that will record our offers from this cross on an ongoing basis. That's all for this episode. We hope that right now the basic process of trading on CoinDeal Exchange Market is no longer a secret. For more video tutorials, go to the official page of FTO Academy. See you!